you guys are doing, that's needed. You gotta demonstrate. You gotta show the world that this is possible. And you guys are going for it. That's that's pretty cool. That takes some that takes some balls, man. I can feel more and more the passion of movement. It's really, it's like a drug for me. It is a different thing if you walk and if you drive. If you drive, you can do a huge distance, but you miss a lot of things. When I'm in a city, I never take public transportation. So I'm always to walk. So I can explore by myself, I can stop by, I can talk to people. If you're in a car, in a box. The only thing you talk to is your phone or someone else next to you. Boy, kegs! Oh my! We're going on an adventure! <laughs> we have had enough of the Walmart parking lot. So we decided that we're going to go send some love letters to our long lost loves. This way. Oh, it's this way. Just introduced Bruz Town to Fred Myers. Didn't know what that was. Never heard of it. Never this. heard of it before. Well, nah, I'd heard of it, I guess. Had to get myself a Starbucks. Coffee, got to fuel the addiction. What do you think of Fred Myers, mate? They use plastic and it kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> they use plastic everywhere, mate. I know. <laughs> We've been living at Walmart for the last forever. I'm pretty sure they're not ethically balanced. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I have a really good Tinder story from last night. <laughs> from last night. It was really funny. <laughs> she still hasn't written back yet. If she I doesn't... Why. There's an angel and a devil Be sure all we're all sure Jolie met a um, lovely Russian lady. Should you cut? We should probably cut, eh? Oh, Alright. <laughs> and he had a hard one because he has not had sex in a long time. Jolie, um. She's pretty beautiful. Jolie met a really lovely Tanya? and pretty uh, Russian lady. Tanya at Home Depot in, uh, in Fairbanks, Alaska. You're my girl, you're my girl, girl. We asked her how you say thank you in Russian. Turns out it's spicy bum. <laughs> Apparently you say spicy bum. 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 <laughs> we are fairly lower than average. We're fairly lower than average. <laughs> Alright, so this is um absolutely the uh, very, very first time that I've ever done this. Your accent is amazing. Am I, singing? I love it. Thanks. I can sing. Yeah, we, we definitely have accent. Jolie in the back, he reckons he's done this I'm a couple of times. Oh jeez. Oh, yes. Accent though. Um, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna sing a classic. It's called uh, Riptide. Riptide. Uh, Van Van yeah. Where are you from? Where are we from? We're from, we're from Australia, from the east coast. And yeah, we we've never actually played together, so this is ridiculously exciting. I I met this guy about. <laughs> I met this guy about a week ago in Fairbanks Airport. Oh, Actually, picked yeah. up. Now we live together in a van, in a camping van. Really not the greatest drummer on the planet. Here. Yeah, I'm definitely not the greatest guitarist. But it's alright. You win some, you lose some. Alright, here we go. Oh, oh, and they come on stock, yeah. We didn't get the memo, but uh, apparently at this time of year in Alaska, oh there's no God. sun, so <laughs> we're, we're kind of stuck here. We've been here for a couple of days now. So <laughs> we could be here for a little while, so you might see us here next week playing uh, the same song over and over again. There's no sun. Hey, Josie, what are we doing? We're going to shoot some <laughs>
I'm doing the same thing, eh? <laughs> you got shooting off. Yeah. Like, what are the chances? I know. But yeah, better to use the open Oh, box. wait, no, that's full. There's our posse, and those boys over there just let me shoot all of their guns, an AK-47 and an AR-15, which was pretty fun. That's why I can't hear anything. <laughs> what? What? Right after four days, five days, sitting in Walmart car park, finally the sun has come out to, uh, to play. And so Jolie is having a red hot crack at some tracking. Raking in, not ideal sun right now. For what we need to make the break for uh, for the border, so we've got currently three days left till Jolie's got to be out of the states, and we're about maybe 250 miles from the uh, from the border. We're cutting it fine. We're cutting it real fine. We're gonna make a break when it gets dark tonight. Because I've only done it once before, and it wasn't very promising. Did it work? It worked, but it was like, it was sketchy. That looks so dope. Dude, that's sick. So basically what I'm worried about is so much pressure on, uh, on that arm like that. Pulling in nearly like four and a half kilowatts now. Compared to what? Compared to two and a half. Red hot. So we're trying to take down the uh, solar panels after we have been tracking all day. Nah, this happened. The uh, whole thing has just snapped off on both sides. Going Josie. All right, mate. All right. Could could be better, but I guess that's what happens when you're working, you're playing with toys like this. <laughs> you got to uh, roll with the punches. Sometimes the punches are big blows. <laughs> yeah. So we're pretty much down to two thirds of our solar ability now, I'd say, um, without using the other ones as satellites until we can get someone to help us fix these arms and I got to be out of the country in about a day or two. Today we were sort of pushing it, we had to get to a place um, for timing reasons and we pushed it a bit too hard and now we've got a big problem so now we have to fix that, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> now we have to fix that problem and uh, that's that, nothing we can do about it. the Canadian border because my visa ends in about six hours. <laughs> <laughs> hey Keegan, your passport hasn't been seen for a good two weeks, eh? Hey. <laughs> 